Welcome back for another video. This is a revisited video of uh, the V12 that I was going to make for the Ferrari, uh, which is coming along slowly. Now it's red. Um, so what I decided to do was make my own V12 using these GX25 Honda engines. And then, uh, sorry if you've seen all this in other videos, just a brief overview. Uh, machining that piece down to this and then replicating it six times for each bank, running a shaft through for the camshaft, which is just a single lobe with two rockers on it. That is the laser cut block in sections. So these obviously stand up on each side and then there's a secondary one for the top of the block closed off on the edges to create a water jacket. Made the crank and then I had second thoughts about the crank. So the crank is pressed together with the original crank being turned down to 7mm and then a press fit. It's obviously not a press fit, but the crank is pushed together like that. And then there's a bearing on there. And then I built that up. But the problem is, if one of these interference fit joints slip, the whole engine is sort of scrap because it all goes out of timing. And the actual output, say one end of the crank, could make it slip on one of the joints to the other end if it backfires during starting or anything like that. So I kind of thought it's an extra probably 150 hours to put that together. It's quite a lot of work. So And then Maddie was growing, so we had to use some of the space for the engine in the front of the Ferrari. So that got put on hold after making some of these main caps and then it was just sort of shelved. Uh, so then I had a bit of a rethink and that rethink involves the Cobra body that's up there, which needs to be taken out and painted because Maddie's already struggling to get into the Jaguar and this amount of room here from the floor to the dash on the AC Cobra it's about five or six inches more so that would make it a bit more usable and then as it's the 100 centenary of Le Mans next year I thought maybe go V8 and then I saw this sale which is a Black Widow 103cc V8 kit. It's not quite like a normal kit because obviously you have to make quite a lot of parts such as the crankshaft and the cylinder heads just solid pieces of well shaped solid pieces of aluminium so you got get drawings. This was made about 10 years ago um, some bits have been bought already, so these are the pistons that have been made, and these are the little comrades. And there's also a supercharger, but no rotors. But you have to make a lot of parts, so rockers, valves. And while we're on the subject of valves, sorry, lots of fireworks going off outside. This is an inlet and exhaust. So that's a 12 mil inlet valve and an 11 mil exhaust. Um, it needs quite a lot of work. And also I'm thinking 100 cc, is it gonna have enough torque low down to pull the Cobra? Because the Cobra's quite big. Could make the chassis and everything out of alley, but it's a little bit bigger than the 
little bit bigger than the D type. It's made out of fiberglass. So I'm now back on the V12. I thought if I can't make a payment for that, maybe I should be making a solid crank um, and a V8. So this would be a 200cc V8. Can still use many of these parts. Probably make a roller bearing crank, which we've been looking at different things, different ways to do that. But I won't be using these con rods uh, because they are close. I need to make some little steel con rods with a cap. Probably run these bearings because I've got lots of these engines. In fact, I think I bought 22 engines. Um, so I have a lot of parts that I can use. Obviously, these already have valve guides, rockers, single camshaft. It would be an overhead cam as opposed to a push rod, which is not, not so scale. But these are rated at 1.2 brake horsepower each. And they have quite a lot of torque. They take a standard size plug and they've got inserts for the inlet and exhaust. So I'm aiming back towards a few cylinders less, a V8 using these bits. That's a little Honda piston. This is a 35 mil bore and a 26 mil stroke. And the Black Widow is a, because it's American, uh, inch bore, inch stroke. So that is a bit of V12 revisited, but also to be resurrected for the Cobra. Thank you for watching. I forgot to mention, Le Mans is 10 months away, nine months, something like that. So I've got to get on it. Update soon.